Welcome uh, you all, honorable members of parliament, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to today's event to raise funds and to have some uh, in-depth knowledge of uh, the London Marathon that's going to be run by Sadiq Khan for the dispossessed funds. Before we start, I'd like to just ask you all for a moment of silence for a very close uh, friend, a very staunch Labour politician, former Mayor of Lambeth, Councillor Mark Bennett. If I can invite uh, Yasmin Qureshi, uh, a member of parliament, uh, coming all the way from Bolton to support our event. I know we're running late. Uh, Yasmin Qureshi. When Sadiq, uh, when I was told that this event was happening um, to fundraise for Sadiq, um, I had to come and I accepted the invitation because it's a really, really worthwhile cause, the Dispossessed Fund. Uh, it's raised millions in the past. It's been used and has been given to really, really worthy causes like um, law centres, uh, asylum seeking help, um, young people, people involved in, who've got involved in criminal activities, all sorts of things. It's a really, really worthwhile fund. So I'm hoping that today you'll all be very, very generous with your wallets and purses and will be donating very, very generously. We are indeed thankful today for all of you being here as friends, as followers of Sadiq Khan. And also today we are here because Mr. A. Haq, whom more or less everybody knows, has taken a very keen interest with the sponsorship of Ashraf Chauhan Sahib, Dr. Ashraf Chauhan, to get us together. And why are we here today? This is the question. Today, please do not ask what Sadak Khan can do for us, the right honorable MP. Today, do a bit of interception, look into your own heart and mind, and think what we can do for Sadak Khan. I'm a psychiatrist by profession, and all day long, sir, all people I meet, they're either mad, or bad, or sad, and I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Whenever there is a good person, people don't mind doing that extra mile for that particular person because we know that someone like this great man, and I'd like to share a small st story with you that when once uh, there were many first MPs um, got elected and I remember the High Commissioner of Pakistan, Malia Lodi, you were there on your first occasion and you just actually entered Parliament. I don't think you've even, even taken the oath. And uh, I remember her saying, this man, this particular man is going to go a long way. What a prediction. Here is Sadiq Khan. We're looking at the next Home Secretary, if he stays continuing as an MP. First international community man that could have gone so high. He's achieved so much high positions. Not a person without portfolio, but a person with portfolio has achieved so much tremendous heights. And I also can see that there's an air of next mayor, possibly, of, of, of London, that he is. Yeah. What a man. Yeah. Uh, good evening, everybody. And uh, certainly it gives me great pleasure to be here uh, uh, in support of uh, our lovely friend, uh, our right honorable Sadiq Khan. Uh, wonderful work that he's doing, and uh, we're really proud of him. Uh, certainly the first per, uh, person in the cabinet uh, from uh, Muslim origin and uh, we're really, really proud. And the work that he's doing, doing for all of the community, respective of colour, creed, religion, sexual orientation, whatever, and wherever there is, anybody needs, so humble the person with all the titles uh, that he's got, being in the cabinet, now being the shadow justice minister, being the London minister, and various other things, whenever you go and see him and see the humbleness that you've got, uh, Sadiq, uh, keep up the wonderful work you're doing. And certainly, we're all the way supporting you uh, throughout uh, wh whichever way. And uh, the future is very bright for you, Sadiq. Thank you once again. For the
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, right honorable Sade Khan, uh, I can praise you much more than everybody has done, but uh, I think if you have heard all that, multiply with 10, and that's all I want to say. Uh, I had uh, started this campaign to be another uh, member and supporter of Labour, and when we started this campaign, I called many, many people, and many people told me that please wait for the budget. We'll tell you because this budget is going to drop the prices of the houses and uh, it's going to do magic and everything. And everybody called back today when I was not well. I wasn't picking up the phone most of the time. But people said, sorry, we, all our expectations are gone. So back to labor. Many people are coming. We are going to do many, many events. But here today we are for our great leader. And you can see the aspiration and the power in people. Yes, we want to see him Lord Mayor first. And we are with him. And uh, I will not say more because I'm not feeling very well. I'll leave everything for uh, Right Honorable Sade Khan, and I love listening to him. The way he speaks, wish I can speak a bit of that. Thank you. Right Honorable Sadiq Khan, everybody. Uh, Mr. Rahim, brothers and sisters, uh, distinguished guests, assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm getting slightly worried. Uh, because the way some of you are talking about me, I think you think I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and not finish and survive the marathon, which worries me. <laughs> but when, uh, when Adal Haq and uh, Ashraf Bhai said, we're going we're gonna to ask some of our friends to come here to help you, I didn't realise so many of your friends are my friends. Uh, <laughs> and can I just say sincerely, I feel the love and the warmth and your blessings when I'm here tonight. So, Jazakallah khair, may Allah reward you for and thank you for all your support. You know, if we're honest, and let's, um, let's be frank, and there are friends here tonight, when you are of Pakistani origin, non Pakistanis think very negative things about us. True. We're a country, it's alleged, that terrorism <coughs> grows from. We're a country that's intolerant. We're a country that's accused of being inward looking. We're a country that doesn't care about others. <coughs> and if we're frank, it's a burden we all carry. Whether you're a doctor, mm -hmm. whether you're a journalist, whether you're a businessman, uh, whether you're a politician, uh, whether you are a student, whether you're a dentist, we all carry that burden with us. And we've got to recognize that actually there are lots of decent people who are waiting to hear the real truth about the country of our origin, about the faith we belong to. And we have a responsibility to educate them about what it means to be a Muslim, what it means to be a Pakistani heritage. And let me be frank, one of the reasons why I said yes <coughs> when the Dispossessed Charity and the Evening Standard asked me to run the marathon, firstly I ran out of excuses to say no. <laughs> Actually, what a, what, a, what a good way to show to non-Muslims, to non-Pakistanis, that we care about their youngsters. We care about the deprivation in this society. We care about people here who get involved in crime, get involved in bad things. And what I say is this, look, 26.2 miles is a long, long, long way. The longest uh, I ran before I started training was 10 kilometers, which is about 6.2 miles. And the training program began on February the 2nd, and I'm feeling stronger, and I'm feeling fitter. Excellent. Um, and, you know, with your support, I think, you know, we will show uh, fellow Londoners, we will show uh, fellow citizens of this country what it means to be a member of parliament of Islamic faith and Pakistani heritage. We care about others. We care about how mankind does. We care about how humanity does. We care about how this country does. And, you know, when I'm doing those miles when I'm training I will think about the brother from Cardiff who's come down nice the last time we met was in the High Commissioner's <coughs> resident you're right uh, uh, as well or the friends from uh, Manchester or, or even Brent uh, it's nice to see or from South London or even Barking and Dagenham um, because this is a this is although it's me doing the running it's meaningless unless I have your support and so thank you very much for all that you're doing the training is going <coughs> easier than I thought because I'm going to make you, what, what, we've got basically set up upstairs a running machine okay. and unless you sponsor me you're going to run five miles tonight. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> so upstairs, I hope you brought your trainers 
And some of you are in hills. <laughs> yeah, okay. And so you've got two choices. You either sponsor me or run five miles. Simple as that. I can run five miles easily now. I'm fit. Um, so look, your support is very, very important. So the training is one thing. But if I know I've got you behind me supporting me, it'll say a lot. Can I say one thing as well, by the way? Look, people look at my website and see who sponsored me. And imagine how great it looks when people see Muslim names. Just think about the impression that creates. Look, yeah, look, of course, Nick Clegg sponsored me. That's fine, good, you know. Um, there are other MPs from Conservatives who sponsored me, Labour, uh, Lib Dems. That's all well and good, right? Uh, you know, there are famous people who sponsored me, and there are lots of non-Muslims and Pakistanis. Imagine how good it looks when there's your, not your names there. Yeah. It shows the power of our community to look outwards and to be outward uh, looking. So I've got, there, there are three people running this race who I care about. Mo Farah, Ed Balls, <laughs> and myself. Now, am I going to beat Mo Farah? Yes. <laughs> so the, the, dream, the dream finishes, Mo Farah wins the marathon, and I beat Ed Balls. Yes, if we I, can. If I, uh, yes, we can. <laughs> if I, well, well, I've got to deal with Ed Balls, who's the chancellor. If I beat him, he's got to give me my department uh, another £10 million. Pounds. <laughs> but if, but if, if I beat him, I can show up for another year. So look, your support is important. I will do the beating their balls, but it's your support to help me raise money for a very important cause. I want to end by saying this. Dal Haq, Ashraf thank you very much for your organisation for tonight. They did this in 24 hours notice. How much notice did you have? It's very, not much notice at all. They did this event very, very quickly uh, after the fashion show in record time. It's great to have so many friends here tonight. Please do what you can to help the charity and show your support. And thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. Okay, can I just say also thank you to um, so so uh, Ashraf is so worried he's going to be at the race as my physician in case I should struggle. So <laughs> I have no fear. So thank you very much. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Taul Hab. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to say um, thanks to everyone uh, who spared some time and uh, came. All the details are here. I mean, if you please clap again so I can assure you, uh, Sadiq Bhai, everyone is going to donate tonight. Uh, before I say thanks, final thanks, I would like to uh, say thanks to Mr. Mr. Zia, uh, Mr. Asim M, Mr. Dr. Uh, sorry, Dr. Farah Hussain, Ayub Olia, uh, Mr. Majoka, Mr. Tariq, Mr. Malik Riaz, Nasser Javed Khan, uh, and Choi Shokat Ali Saab, then Choi Liaqat Ali Saab, then Shahzada Hayat, who uh, donated tonight, and a uh, round of applause for these guys, please. <laughs> and uh, finally, I got very good news for uh, Sadiq and Ali. I, I'm sure uh, you was worried this is not a uh, huge amount, but I got very breaking news. Mr. Taha Qureshi, uh, who's member of British Empire and he uh, who's the chairman for FERD, Forum for International Relations Development. Relation Developments. Obviously, he's um, he's on his way. But uh, I think, uh, Sadiq Bhai, before you leave, please promise us whenever, whenever you're going to be a London mayor, you have to resolve this traffic issue because uh, <laughs> because uh, he, that I mean, Mr. Qureshi is stuck in traffic more than uh, one That's hour. That's the Boris Johnson man, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, can we have a big clap for Mr. Taha Qureshi, who uh, donated 1,000 pounds Hallo, Grosena. Also ich bin hier wegen Sadiq Khan zum Sporten, wegen MP. Ich bin Bodyguard und ich will, werde ihm mal in alle Hinsichten auch noch Sport geben. Alle Hinsichten bin ich vor ihm dabei. Das war's. Wenn Sie irgendwelche noch welche Fragen haben, ich bin immer noch da. Bitte schön. We're with you, Sadiq Khan. All the best. All the way. Well done. I think I'm going to support him by having a relay race. So every time he gets tired, I will go and run for him. So we'll have turns. And I will wish him all the best. I think he's doing a wonderful job. Hi, I'm Hina Malik. Um, I am giving this thing. I'm here to support uh, Sadiq Khan uh, for his campaign that he's running for the children charity. And I want to run with him, but I don't think I'm that fit.
fit, but I'm definitely supporting his campaign and I want everybody to support him. We, he's making people aware of uh, the children's needs and how he's going forward with it. Internally, we are all supporting Labour. I'm a big uh, Labour supporter fan and I am behind Sadiq and Sadiq, go for it, we are behind you. My name is uh, Sadiq Khan, Member of Parliament. Thank you for watching TV Apex. Please support me, sponsor me and help me so I can raise money by running the London Marathon. Thank you very much.